And, you know, hopefully someone sees this and realizes that she is loved and she's she needs to be back home with her family. So this Levine family is desperate to get their dog back after she bolted from a Phoenix veterinary hospital. This was three weeks ago. Kara Hay has the rest of this story. On October 9th, Veronica Lowe says she dropped her dog Sadie off at Alta Vista Veterinary Hospital because she was having gastrointestinal issues. That was at 2. At 520, she called them to ask about blood work. And less than an hour later, Lowe says the staff called her back, saying they needed to explain a situation. I thought, oh my God, she died. She didn't die, but they didn't know where she was. Lowe says staff told her her sick 10 pound dog had escaped. We're told that a staff member took Sadie out of her kennel to clean it. And at that time, Sadie snipped at him. He dropped the leash and Sadie was gone. The owner of Alta Vista tells Arizona's family she isn't faulting the employee for dropping the leash. She is, however, faulting him for taking his eye off the dog, which was in an unfenced area off a busy road. It's now been three weeks since Sadie went missing, and Lowe says she feels devastated. You know, we we miss her. While they're hopeful Sadie will be returned safely, now they just want to make sure this doesn't happen to anyone else. Just get a fence up, you guys. Get a fence up there so it doesn't happen anymore, please. The owner tells Arizona's family they plan on getting a fence this week and confirms this is not the first time a dog has gone missing in their care. It is, however, the first time they've not been able to find them. But the Lowe's are staying positive. We've had some confirmed positive sightings of her within the last week in that area still. And, and the demeanor that was described, what she was doing, like, that's, that's our Sadie dog. That's, that's our baby. There's a $1,000 award funded by Alta Vista to give to anyone who finds Sadie. In Phoenix, Kiara Hay, Arizona's family.